Hey Legionnaires, welcome back, we're here in Middle Earth once again and we have a glorious battle for you today. It is the one and only battle of the five armies here and we have four Dolgogor armies, huge four hordes here, massing against four armies of good. I think, well at least I think it's four, I might be wrong. Uh, we certainly have a Dale, we have a uh, Woodland Realm, and also we have a, uh, a Iron Hills all the way over there, so we do have the Last Breath in play, but I don't know if it's two Dales, or if it's just Dales stretched out over one, well, I think it might be the, the ladder, I think it's just one Dale, actually. Um, so that puts them even in a worse position than I really thought, so yeah, actually, let's have a look at the numbers. Yeah, 5,700 against 1,100, yeah, definitely it's a 4v3 is this one here. But oh boy, Battle of the Five Armies, it's a classic, everyone loves it, you know, men, elves, and dwarves all fighting together against the armies of evil. It does make for a great, great battle. Yeah, Goldor Blades here coming in. I don't know whether they're going like uh, sort of like proper, sort of like scripted, or whether it's just like they were like, yeah, screw it, we'll play these uh, factions on this map. I don't know if uh, they're going to like proper script it. We'll see. But yeah, we have uh, Goldor, Bl uh, Goldor Pikes now coming across silently, but I just like to say as well, them silent, so sneaky. Um, but yes, we do have a, uh, a line uh, fight, uh, well, uh, like a planes fight that's going to be taking place over here. It looks like we've got um, Dolgaldor ready to go this way. It looks like it's going to be just facing up against the Iron Hills. It could be a tough fight there. We've got some um, Onager as well from the enemy have rallied their Wooden units. Realm. Okay, an interesting like addition. I thought maybe the dwarves would bring it like for their twirly whirlies. But it does look like it's sort of scripted. Like this army over here is going to be arriving later. I don't know when exactly, but... Yeah, this will certainly be a fun, fun siege battle, that is for sure. It looks like Cav as well is coming in as well. We've got Sims the Eye looking for other breaches, which is not a bad idea. Um, we are on, like, the Rune Dale version, so, um, obviously there's lots of war breaches already. You don't need to make any more. Dale's in a pretty bad shape after Smao came and torched the place. But yes, if you're enjoying all things Dawn the Stays and Middle Earth, then do remember to leave a like and subscribe to me around here and a comp to show your support hit that notification bell all that stuff you know that youtube likes you to do go and do that but if you've already done all that sit back relax enjoy get yourself a snack get yourself some popcorn we have got ourselves a glorious siege battle here for you today the daily troops are you know daily swords pretty average but up against gold or blades they do they are kind of made to look pretty good um, we've got violent guards on the other side here. Yeah, these guys, they're super elite infantry. Already been thrown in. I mean, that kind of shows one thing, at least, for the, um, the Dogledor, is that, like, well, I mean, that will be the case anyway. It's a 4v3. But, like, violent guard already being on the front lines, that means they're stretched, as Dale. Like, Dale is stretched across their own city here, trying to uh, sort of hold on. We've got Dalian spear guards over here. They will suffer against things like Goldor Glaives. And uh, any champions of Dolgaldor, if they've got any of those, because their shock infantry and uh, the Golden Glaives and champions, well, the spear guards here, obviously, are spears. Spears do really bad against shock, so this could be the area that they break through, to be honest. I would be sending in shock infantry straight away. I'd be letting them get a, off a good charge, charge their men. There's no archers over here as well, so this is definitely the weak point here, taking on these three spear units of uh, Dale. Uh, how much this... Uh, Dolgaldor force really wants to come inside the city though, I don't know, because really the dwarves uh, could just go and destroy uh, Dolgaldor out here, this isn't like a large Dolgaldor force, it's it's okay, it's a pretty reasonable sized one, but these uh, Iron Hill warriors are good uh, they are often hard to kill, we've got um, Onager here set up as well, oh, so we have an Onager for both dwarves and elves I don't know why the elves waste their money on an Onager it's a strange buy, Carl and Hunter's here as well, with like a Java unit very, very nasty. They will be very good anti-trolls and things like that. And they're shooting this big blob of uh, shocking up right now, which is not a bad idea. Golder Glaives pretty much have the same stats as Champions of Dougal Dodge, just a little let worse morale and also armor, I believe. Uh, but they're about to go in, looks like. They're getting the, the order to go forward. Yeah, the only real fight that's really sort of taking place at the moment is over on that side there, where Dale is... Doing a good job. Those violent guards are getting whistled down, though. They're down to 95 already. But yes, if you want to send in your own replays, if you've been creating some cool scenarios like this, some battle five armies or a siege of Minas Tirith or whatever like that, 
feel free to send it in to my Discord. The link is down below in the description. It's the best place to send in replays to me. And uh, yeah, it's uh, a place also that you can come and play. It's Dawn of Stays as well. We do lots of regular streams and scenarios for it. So yeah, if you want to get involved in any of those, again, feel free to join the, uh, the server. Looks like the dwarves here should be okay. Doesn't look like, seem like a devastating charge. Seems like, yeah, I mean, they lost like four on the charge. The Golder Glaives here are going to probably suffer in this fight. But yes, as we're using the uh, Iron Hill faction, we are using the Last Breath submod. Another great submod, which adds a whole bunch of new factions and units, including the Iron Hills, Khan, Norwinian, and Umbar. So yeah, very, very cool uh, mod. I'll leave a link for it in the description if you want to check it out yourselves if you haven't already. The devs are a great bunch of guys. They always put a lot of hard work and effort into the submod. And one of the re good things about the submod as well is it balances well with the main mod. Can't say the same for every single other Dawn of Stays sub mod that's around. They're still very good, they just don't balance as well. But uh, yeah, the, you can easily beat Iron Hills with a um, vanilla faction. It's not like they're supercharged. And as you can see here, actually, Gold of Glaives is starting to. Uh, they're combat even. They're beating the Iron Hill Warriors here. It looks like we're going to see some Iron Hill Pikes also shift over to maybe support that sort of push that's coming in there. So let's see, just keep an eye on. Both sides of uh, the fight, what's going on over here. Same old, same old at the moment. Dolgador's just throwing in more and more glaives. Uh, well, not glaives, glaives. But he's actually putting in some glaives now. They're being brought up. Probably a good idea. This might. It's shocking which is going to be pushing power. The only obviously risk with shock is that it gets focused down by archers. Things like the marksman's dale up here. And uh, they could do a lot of damage. It does also look like there could be reinforcements coming from their elven brothers in arms. Looks like they're going to be sent forward the Wooden Realm here, led by Thranduil. Setting up the second line of defense at the moment, but he might be sent in. Who knows? It does seem as though the elves over here don't have a lot to do. I sh uh, they probably are just preparing for the threat of uh, Dulgaldor over here, which has Olog High in this uh, reinforcement army that's on its way. So they might uh, make a push uh, for the uh, like this side of the city. They might not. At that point, the elves might have to retreat and just be like, well, we, we have to go. Oh my gosh, what happened here? The elves actually came out of the city, okay. And Servants of the Eye have actually charged down. I believe these are some that came all the way around the side of the city. And they've just uh, smashed into, like, yeah, Last Garland Blades here and Archers. They're killing off these Lords of Last Garland, which is an elite attacked. bow unit. But yeah, Servants of the Eye there, done a really good job. The could they get the, yeah, the general down here? They've got the Elven the King. Trandall might be wanting to be sent down here and just deal some damage. But yeah, they've actually linked up with their own infantry, uh, with more infantry here. What have we got? We've got, what is this? Dalian Spear Guards and also Hall Guardians over here. Okay, so Elves already helping out in this fight here for the city. And the Hall Guardians should mop up a lot of these troops here really nicely. I mean, there should be some good kills here. We've got some Spear Guards struggle against the shock. But the Hall Guardians should be able to hold, and they've got the same, same duo going on here. Hall Guardians holding. I guess that's just, yeah, the elves assessed and saw uh, that was the weak point. That really was. Three spear units against shock, an army of shock. It was going to be a disaster. Uh, looks like we've got Lake Town Guards here, and we also have a, uh, another Dalian Sword, and they're outside the city. Uh, I don't know what the plan is here, why they set up here. They're really boxing in this player, that's for sure. That's uh, not a bad idea, but I think like, Dale really wants to beat this player. They don't really care about the other front so much. Um, but yeah, the Sims of the, uh, Sims of the Eye, I think their intention was to try and go for the, uh, the dwarves over here. It looks like Dalian Cav Regiment that was set outside the, uh, the walls over here has come over and has helped mop these guys up. And the elves lost some very precious archers, but uh, it looks like, looks like they're going to be fine. And yeah, the elves are actually sending over more troops to actually help over here, I guess, now. The cut off, yeah. These also last guard, eesh, down to 48. It's a rough start for them. We've got trolls now being sent in as well. Olokai, Iron Hit, and as is Dane. Dane is on the front lines, fighting away like a champ. And let's see how he can do. In from the uh, Sons of the Eye, charging into the back of their own men, but they're out, they are kind of getting to the front lines. Cannon Hunters are in the front lines as well, now they're out of Javis. Pikes have done their bit to help stabilize this front, killing the Gold Glaives. But there now are pikes coming over here, but they've got to face up against Iron Guards. So, I mean, I feel like the Iron Guards can 
hold their own. If the Cav can get out and get around, then they've got a good chance of surrounding it, which is exactly what I think they're trying to do now. Yeah, it's not looking too bad over here. Dane's actually pulled out of combat, which has allowed this blade to sort of uh, sneak on through, but yeah, uh, Dane's getting shot to pieces here. And I imagine, yeah, it's just by Mercury Trackers. So yeah, it's uh, the cheap old archers, you know, you just mass them up and shoot and you just do a lot of damage. And uh, units like, yeah, Dane with zero missile block are gonna suffer. The trolls have pulled out as well uh, for the attackers. So they are just uh, gonna sit back. It looks like also the reinforcements have been activated. I mean, there's just a single iron guard back here holding this bri bridge. So there's no luck of getting through there anytime soon. It's a really good move there by the dwarves. Put their best unit in that, bri that bridge point. They don't have to worry about that for a little minute. But yes, let's see what is going on over here. Yep, also the other reinforcements activated. The uh, elves have retreated from, from their the points enemy. here and they're going to retreat. Uh, looks like just uh, basically further back down this uh, this street. The gate wardens here should yeah hold for a, a long time as well. Against even against shock, they're just super super good spears. This is not looking so good though for the defenders. Elves have been sent in to help here and are dying. Where's Gandalf and Bilbo when you need them? I need them here. I mean, I don't know what Bilbo is really going to do to change the fight. But Gandalf, you know, he can do a lot. And there you go, mass right actually from the uh, Dolgaldor player here. That actually is going to really help out. But yes, the Glaives, again, it's the Shock Infantry. It's doing a lot of damage. Swords, I mean, swords suffer against uh, Shock Infantry as well. They really do. But yeah, that's... Uh, a rough fight there and actually was trying to see I mean I guess there was enough space maybe for that glaive to flank around they definitely got through a fair few elves as well but they're going to surround these units here uh, what is there Marksman and Dale they might need to send those in to try and surround the Gulder Glaives or they might just accept that these units are all lost now which is a big big loss for the uh, defenders because that's three units there that they've lost we are going to see a few volleys from Marksman and Dale here into the back of them but it's not going to do much difference there unfortunately Looks like the attackers on this side here are falling back. Oh, but the whole Guardians will be chasing them. That's going to cost them. These the units are very, very expensive. You need, you can't be wasteful with it. And we've got uh, Forest Rangers over here supporting as well. So, yeah, bring in, like, the cheaper elves. You don't often see them getting brought, like, the cheaper elven archers. But, yeah, they brought them. And again over here, look at this. What is going on to this bridge? I mean, you see the troll. I think these are the trolls from the armies over here. Yeah, Trolls and uh, Cav combining to try and break across against the Elves there. I mean, I guess if they do break through, they can get into the rear of the uh, the rear of the Dwarves over here. But yeah, the, the Trolls trying to push forward here. They're getting piked to death and also jabbied to death by Khan and Hunters. And it's just action all over the place right now. It really is. There you go, they've been routed of those units there, and now, I mean, there's not much left of the uh, attackers who've got to throw in on this like small point here. It seems like these units are kind of battered. The defenders though, are at a breaking point. It's things like Khan and Hunters and Cav behind, just doing a lot of damage right now. We've got the uh, some of the eye here, tied in combat with the uh, Iron Guard. I feel like the Iron Guard will love this, they'll just stab away at these guys. Spears and prolonged melee against Cav will do just fine. See the sun lose. The pike's also getting beaten up. Whether this cav could get in behind do some hammer and anvils, rouse some of these guys, I don't know. The Maybe they want to keep it defensive, play defensive with it. I don't really know. The spears here, gate wardens, they're kind of come chasing these uh, cav units. Again, I feel like the uh, the elven player isn't really paying attention. These units are giving mel uh, he's giving orders to, and they're getting pulled out of position. Really, the spear should be here killing off the, the trolls, not chasing this cavalry down. But we'll see. This uh, gate warden here might be going into the back of those glaives. That might make a difference. Yeah, I've got a general here, by the way. We've got a Kamul over here. He's going to get uh, attacked by these last guard blades. Should probably win the fight, should Kamul, but you need to be careful with him. He's very close to uh, enemy archers and also to, as you can see from the arrows, they're just like dotted around here. They're still shooting him. Yeah, I mean, if they kill him, I don't know what how much of his army's left, Kamul, but uh, if they kill him, the army obviously is going to rout. Dolgador's morale is trash. Clean. Finally, we're seeing the Elven King Rider as well come into play. It's going to be needed. Um, maybe not now, actually. I might want to retreat him if I was uh, if I was the Elven King player. 
because yeah, gold or blades. We've also got looks like gold or glaives coming forward. Yeah, they're gonna have a rough time there. The dwarves look like they're holding on. The lines are so thin though. It just seems crazy as well that they're being aggressive here, being pu pushing forward. But yeah, this is a good little flanker from the Khan Hunters into the side of these uh, Goldor Blades and Champions of Togador will do a good amount of work here. Yeah, in you go, in go the Axe Throws. They're actually going to get charged now by Goldor Glaives. Ah, it's not a bad volley there from the Goldor Glaives. Uh, on the Goldor Glaives, sorry. Let's see, the Khan Hunters are probably going to suffer here now. Shocking which you taking on these Javis, yes. I would have thought it's a one-way fight, but who knows? Maybe the Carlin Hunters here could win that fight. I feel like as it goes on, it'll go in favor of the Shock. And we've got Cav back here fighting each other as well. This other the of the eye. They've tied down that Dalian Cav unit there. Looks like they are going to, uh, to win that fight, the Dalian troops there. What have we got here? Dalian swords. Jeez, they really all threw out some troops to help out here, didn't they? And there you go, the uh, Sermons of the Eye going to try and pull out. That is a poor idea. I mean, because it just means that the Dalian Cav Regiment gets another charge off. That'll do a lot of damage. That will kill that uh, Cav off. And then the Dalian player can just hammer an anvil onto anything he likes on this Dolgaldor line. And that's uh, going to probably be, be a GG there for this uh, Dolgaldor army, you'd imagine. Champions of Dolgaldor hit. The general hit, anyway, the Champions of Dolgaldor. They've broken through. They're actually fighting Dane himself. This is a battle of generals here. We've got some, looks like Khan and Hunters coming in to try and support, save their generals, save their king. There is Dane. Got to keep him alive. And there you go, the Cav going into the archers. I mean, it's not the primary uh, concern. I've been trying to take out the these infantry, try and support the shock here. Sun's the hill in the front line as well. Elite shock here being sent in. And the, yeah, the Cavs just taking out the... Uh, oh, General's dead? Oh, that is... Uh, this Champions of Dougaldur over here, that's even better for the Dwarves on this. Hey, Legionnaires, and we are back. And yeah, unfortunately, the replay did crash, but we are back at where we uh, sort of left off. We're back sort of uh, where, you know, the Dwarves are fighting here on the... Uh, outside these uh, the walls of Dale here, and they're holding on pretty nicely here. We are seeing a bit of wavering here, some uh, quivering Iron Hill Pikemen, but yeah, the uh, Cav in the back lines here is causing all sorts of problems. Dale Cavalry Regiment here is going in for Mirkwood track, so it's gone around all this fighting that's gone on here, and it's managed to get in behind. And really, I don't think they should be slowing down on these trackers. I think they should be getting out of this. And uh, charging in. Oh, General is dead, and that is... A General over here, Champions of Dolgador, fighting against Dane in a battle of the generals. And Dane has come out victorious. I can see him actually here. Oh no, that is not Dane. Where is Dane? Now I'm worried. Now I'm scared. I thought that was Dane, but he's uh, he's somewhere else. Oh, there he is. There he is, the champ. The king of the dwarves. He's very much alive. He's not yet king of uh, Erebor, I guess, because, uh, you know, Thorin's not died yet, but he's king of the Iron Hills. But there he is. What a champ. He's going back in. He's going in for round two. He's not finished. They really need to actually do, deal with that Merkwood Tracker, um, to be honest. He's actually focusing on Dane. The little dwarves without the morale could be okay for a little while. Like, without the general uh, sort of, like, boost of morale, they should be okay. But late game, they might need that. You never know. So, yeah, maybe, like, Dale Cavalry Regiment should be going in and trying to take out uh, these trackers. I mean, Dane has rallied. He's now winning. It's kind of incredible. I don't know how, but he is. Uh, we're going to see a, a reinforcement uh, attack by these uh, Dalian swords as well to try and do their bit there. But we'll come back to that. We'll see what is going on elsewhere. So it seems like the battle for the bridge over here is still going on. We've got elves here, swords of uh, like Las Garden Blades there holding on, fighting against the Goldor Blades and Glaives and Trolls. A whole mix of uh, evil spawn here. This one might be a general. I can see. Kamul Retinue here as well. Yeah, they've got some good units in here. They're going to need to send them reinforcements, and that is exactly what they're getting. Lords of Lasgalan coming rank by rank. These elite elven archers going into action right now. They've still got some elves as well with ammo, which they might desperately need to take out Kamul or, yeah, I'll like shoot this Kamul here that's just waiting patiently. 
They have two, two of them as well. I wonder if one's supposed to be like Azog and one's like Bold. I don't know. We've got Forest Rangers fighting in the streets over here. So the Elven Archers are now to get stuck in defense on these streets. Forest Rangers, I imagine, have pretty low armor, but pretty decent melee stats like most Ranger units. Uh, even like uh, Manish ones have kind of got those sort of stats. And over here, it seems like the, uh, the combo of spears and pole arms holding nicely. Looks like they're going to clear out these Golder pikes and blades quite nicely. That's for sure. The, uh, yeah, the main issue is really over here. But they've actually just broken through this Dalian sword here. And the Olakai and a whole host of orcs and even servants of the eye are going to break on through. Looks like they are preparing to retreat to the uh, next tier. There is one gate warden that's still holding on down here. It's holding against the pikes. I mean, it's going to be a slow death, these guys are getting encircled. 81 out of 85. Yeah, they'll take a while to kill. But they've got plenty of troops ready for the last stand up here. They've got gate wardens. We've got uh, Dalian spear guards and Dalian bows with some ammo, which could be useful. Uh, Thrandals up here. We've got Ravanian regions and a tiny little hall guardian. They might need to get some of these uh, healthier units back. Which it looks like they are trying to do now. Hall Guardians, a much healthier unit on their way back. Which is good to see. But yeah, at about... We're nearly at the half hour mark. Uh, like half an hour left. And it's 2,500 against 4,500 uh, Orcs. So yeah, about 2,000 man or Elf or Dwarf or Orc difference. Whatever you are uh, identify as. You'd be like, well, there's still, 20, there's still like 2,000 more Orcs to kill, I guess even level it up even think about calling this a, a possible win but I mean to be fair there are a lot of orcs here they are about a route so that could change the uh, the numbers as well in favor of the forces of good uh, in a moment the Dalian Cav regiment here is trying to uh, sort of hammer and amble these guys they've been in for charge maybe a cycle out do another one because it doesn't seem like they're routing just yet but do let me know in the comments who you're rooting for are you rooting for team good or are you team evil are you rooting for dirty orcs of Dol Guldor Yeah, it'd be interesting to know what you guys are uh, rooting for. I mean, I imagine a lot of you like rooting for the forces of good. Everyone loves the elves and the dwarves. Some of you might be quirky out there and prefer the orcs. Who knows? But Daily and Cab Regiment here got a silver chevron. They might earn another one yet. They're still he fairly healthy as well. 46 out of 75. Very good for numbers. Uh, they could do with charging this Gulder Pike. It is actually screwing over this Iron Hill uh, warrior you hear. They just can't deal with those long pikes. Yeah, they are getting taken out uh, fairly easily there. And it looks like they are mopping up what remains of the forces out here. They're doing a decent enough job. But it looks like, I mean, it's looking desperate over here. We see, like, Onage crew for the Wooden Realm and various other units being sent into battle here. We have Iron Hill Pikemen arriving, which is good. That could be useful to deal with the uh, Goldor Pikes here. And they are going to retreat these uh, Lords of Las Gal, which is good to see as well, because they need to. They need to get these guys out of here. And they're nearly out of ammo as well with their own Lord's Last Guard. I think they just that moment run out of ammo. They just kept shooting Kamul and his bodyguard here. Oh, that's handy though. Gulder Glaives just breaking it the sheer sight of the elves and their reinforcements, which is great. Be interested to see who wins in this match up here. I mean, the Gulder Pikes have more men, but I'd say the Iron Hill Pikes are probably better in quality. That'd be an interesting matchup to see who wins that one. Over here, this is interesting, actually. I mean, you see Champions of Dugledore losing in a fight into Forest Rangers. I mean, oh, they're now combat even. They are sort of pulling through. They need to be careful of that. I, I will lose them a lot of men, and, you know, it's cheating at the end of the day. I mean, I think maybe just re-engage. Don't look like they're actually going to pull through. Forest Rangers, though, they're taking a lot of them down with them. So, yeah, Champions of Dugledore, you can't just skip over this uh, this enemy. They will punish you. Cav in here. I think these sons of the eye, yeah, they come up this, uh, this way here. Uh, after the breakthrough, and it looks like yeah, the cav here is going to try and kill off a decent amount of these spears and these archers as well. These marksmen and Dale still have a decent, well, not decent, but some ammo. Could be very important in that ammunition. Yeah, it looks like, I mean, we're seeing some interesting choke points being held right now. I mean, these late town guards should not be holding this choke point here. Dalian swords might need to hold on, just sacrifice themselves to let these late town guards get back. Because the Lake Town Guards cannot be hammering anvil by those servants of the eye. as have just seen them charging already. I think it's a Nazgul general. I think, uh, yeah, it is a Nazgul servants of the eye general there. Uh, oh, luckily, actually, that's handy. There's a, there's a Lake Town Guard down here blocking it, stopping any sort of opportunity of a hammering anvil just for the moment. Keep stabbing away, boys. Obviously, the uh, Lake Town Guard, very iconic from the uh, Hobbit movies. 
know, that you recognize those guys, you see them uh, in all the Lake Town scenes, really. But yeah, this is all that remains of the dwarves. See what you can see out here. And actually, it looks like the uh, the dwarves over on this side here got broken through. They were defending with a singular uh, Iron Guard spear there. And uh, yeah, the Gold Blade Blades here now have broken through. It took them a long time and a lot of orc lives, I imagine, but they are through. And their reward, they get to fight more dwarves. I mean, they're battered units, but they could just surround that uh, Gold Blade. Blade. And I don't know how good its morale is on a general live so yeah it have okay morale nothing insane it's just a gold or blade but yeah that should be killed off and yeah it's, it's uh it's looking interesting that's for sure the city assault looking very good um for the orcs so not so much for the outside one i mean they've obviously not beaten the dwarves that's a big sort of loss for them but they should be able to at least contain the remains of the dwarves you'd imagine they have no ammo no real like good pikes or pole arms. I mean, there's this, this unit here that it could use, but uh, yeah, it should be in interesting to see. I mean, they've got the daily encavage, which could be a problem. If they engage uh, at the bridge here, do the dwarves and the men, or oh, the dwarves and the elves, they, they could just get hammered and anvil by the daily encav. We'll see. Uh, like, is what's happening right now. Like, it looks like the Nazgul here hammer and ambling these surviving units down here, and you could see the same outside. But the other way around, the orcs getting hammered and, and anvil at that bridge. Yeah, the last few pockets of daily resistance on these lower levels being just wiped out. And here we go, Olakai going in as well. They should absolutely smash this daily sword here. They'll just maul it. Knock them around like these men are toys. I mean, they do kind of give me this sort of like, just how they swing and just the noises they make. They do give me like the spoiled child sort of vibe. I don't know why. Just throwing their toys out the pram. Yeah, these Daily Swords, they're doomed. They are doomed. Unless they bring over this pole arm. This late on guard is literally just standing watching their comrades die. Just go in. I don't know why they haven't. Maybe because, uh, well, I don't know. I still actually have no reason why I don't know, to be honest. Um, but yeah, as you can see here, the assault has begun on this side as well. So we have the elves being engaged here. Looks like we've got Gate Wardens and Hall Guardians. They're just engaging again. I think it's a Goldor Glaive. No, Champ is a Dogledor. Okay. Sending in the finest shocking that Dogledore has. I'm still not sure if I like the shield that they've gone with for the um, Gate Wardens. It is just basically the, the shield that all the last Garland units have. I don't know if it should be green just to match their, um, their armor, but I also do like the breaking colors. I do quite like that they have like a different color to their armor, but I, I just feel like maybe the green on the shield would maybe work better. I don't know. I'd like to see it maybe. Um, I'd like, maybe I'd have to see it like uh, on the model and be like, actually, no, go back to the original. I kind of preferred that. Maybe that's all I need to have me persuaded. Maybe it did look terrible, like I'm double green. Who knows? But yeah, we're sort of at a standoff on this side here now. We've got pole arms here, Lake Town Guards. You know, just supported by swords on both of those uh, these these choke points here, these streets. They could retreat if they could get the right opportunity. They could try and retreat, um, and that means uh, Dogal Door would have just a singular choke point to go through. But I don't know if they're going to do that just yet. But they are going to have to wait at Dogal Door for things like other pikes to come in. Maybe use the Olog Hide to break through. I don't know how well they'll do. We'll see. It actually looks like Dogal Door retreated. I don't think they really fought outside here um, when it came to the actual push. From the, uh, from the elves and the dwarves. They uh, just actually let um, them inside the city. And that's not a bad idea. Uh, because now the defenders are the orcs of Dogledor. And they can use these streets that Dale used against them. Against the elves and dwarves. So you might see sort of like a, a switch of roles at the moment. As the dwarves and elves go from being defenders to being attackers. Yeah, yeah, there isn't a lot of them left. And it certainly is probably better for the orcs to come inside. It means this cavalry here isn't going to be used so effectively. But uh, yeah, we'll keep an eye on that as the fighting goes on. At uh, this side here is the choke point raging on here. These pikes, I think, kind of been caught out of formation. They're not, they're certainly not uh, put their pikes down like in a proper phalanx. And more shock infantry coming in, rushing in here, trying to... Uh, and I guess trying to break through. I mean, the shock infantry, like, champions of Dogledore, they should usually do quite well against gate wardens. Maybe gate wardens are just, I don't know, super strong. I mean, they are. They're elven uh, spears. I would have thought even still these uh, elite shock infantry here should be able to do some damage to the spears, but evidently not. They are losing, actually, decisively, which is kind of amazing. 
But they are slowly getting in behind the formation. Maybe that will make a small difference. Slowly but surely they're chipping away, surrounding these elves. Or it might do absolutely nothing. Who knows? And we got trackers over here. Merkur trackers just getting impaled by uh, by the Lake Town Guards. Imagine being like this guy here. Barry the Lake Town Guardsman. You're literally fighting off like five orcs. who are just like tiny little orcs here with like fangs and claws. And they've got dags as well. He's like, oh my gosh, fending for my life here. And he's won his fight. What an absolute champ. Well on Barry. Uh, they've routed that uh, Merkur Tracker, which is good to see. I mean, that's that's huge as well, because these units, you know, they're like 250 in size. So killing them off actually brings down the uh, the count of how many troops Enemy the uh, forces of evil have, like, by quite a lot. I mean, they're down to just under 3,000 now, 2,800. The defenders have 1,700, so it's still a thousand man difference. Balance power is so far in favor of the force of evil because of the trolls. Trolls are like elephants and like Rome 2, and even in vanilla Attila. Uh, they influence uh, the balance power quite a lot, so once they die, that might change a little bit, but rightly so, the Olokai, you know, are influencing the balance power a lot. They are army killers if used correctly. I don't know about Elven Dwarven army killers, Certainly mannish ones. The pikes seem like they've reformed up and actually are piking away now. You can see they're actually, you know, doing their like their actions here. Look at this. The elves are having none of it. They're getting out of combat. They're like, yeah, let's go back up this hill. We're not staying here. And actually, yeah, they've reformed up with their pole arms here. I don't think there are many hall guardians in there, but they reformed up. And my gosh, look at that shot. Look at that. You can't tell me you just don't love Dawn of Stays. Like, this is amazing. You see all these elves, and then Thranduil waving a sword in the background. Oh, beautiful. And the Dalian troops in there as well mixed in. Just 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 mods, really is. But yeah, the pikes, I think it's just going up this hill. I think pathfinding here, I think the players have realized that the pathfinding here, this literally at the turn of this corner, the pikes don't like it. And the players have worked that out to their own advantage, I, li I think, a little bit. But here we go. Dwarves are on their way in. Uh, the elves went all the way around this way. Oh, well, the swords did there. Oh, the elves have gone straight in. They're engaged down here, and they're getting smashed to pieces by Olokai. Oh, no, this is not good. This is a lot of elves as well. It's good elves. Like, these Lords of Last Garland can hold their own in a melee fight, and it's been wasted in this fight here against trolls. I'd be, like... I'd send one unit in to die at this point and then just get everyone else out. Like the la even though the Lord's Last Garden, yeah, they've used their ammo, that's their primary weapon. They're still good with a bow. Over uh, the sword, sorry. And a bow, I guess. You can whack your bow with over someone's head. Probably kill someone. Made of wood. At least concuss them. There is a Kamul down here. I don't know if he has uh, if he's still alive. There's 14 of them left. It's quite possible he is still alive. Um, but yeah, more troops coming down as well. Goldo Glaives being sent in as well. Yeah, they'll mess those guys up. And uh, that is going to be probably the end of the uh, the elves there on that little assault on that side. Uh, they are still alive, obviously, in the actual city center itself. And the uh, dwarves are making their assault over here as well. We have Iron Guards and Iron Hill Pikes going in, taking on the Goldo Pikes. Goldo Pikes have the high ground, and if Obi-Wan's taught me anything. High ground wins every time. So yeah, this could be a rough fight here for the Iron Hill Pikes. And it does seem like a lot more of them are dropping than the, uh, than the Orcs, but we'll see whether over time that changes. The Iron Guards might have an influence. The Sons of the Hill now coming in. Yeah, they're really throwing in everything trying to break through this pike. I mean, if they break through, it's a big win. Because um, after that, I don't think there's any more pikes to worry about on this side. Just shock and swords, which to be fair, they're still healthy. They could still do a lot of damage to these uh, Dwarven units over here. It's certainly an uphill, quite literally an uphill fight there for the Dwarves. And the fight still goes on here, my gosh. They're still killing off this champions of Dogle, though. It's impressive. I mean, yeah, and they're also with the, like, the combo of pikes and halberds. They're keeping these tro uh, sorry, spears and halberds. They're keeping these uh, these trolls in place. I think they put a healthier... Oh, yeah, they put the healthy uh, Hall Guardian over here now with a 76 one. I don't know if the other one's dead. I think it might be dead, actually. Um, the one that was like, like, literally like 14 men. Uh, so, yeah, they good job there. They're, they are slowly... Um, Killing off the elven units, I guess, the orcs, but it's, it's 
not quickly enough, that's for sure. And Dale's actually holding his own over here, you know. He's scaring off units, trying to just, you know, slow down time. Buy time for the dwarves to arrive. 1,500 versus 2,500. Numbers not looking so great now for the orcs. A thousand difference against elves and dwarves. is never a good match. They're going to have to hope that they can, like, annihilate this dwarven force here pretty easily. Oh, and it looks like they might, actually. There's uh, trolls and shock coming in. So those uh, elves there... Lord's Last Garland, butchered. They're dead. They're gone. Look at them. All their bodies down here. Gone. Dead. But yeah, now we have a flanking force here of Trolls, Olokai, and Shock Infantry. And all that there is to stop the Trolls, and they are ready as well as Khan and Hunters, these Javis here, which are out of Javis. If they're Javis, could be a different story. Might be able to kill the Trolls. But they can't. They have literally no ammunition. So these guys are probably going to get steamrolled here by uh, Goldo Glaives and, uh, and Trolls. We'll see in a moment, though. So, the, the, yeah, the, tr the trolls coming in from the back means these dwarves are about to get sandwiched. And it's going to be a dwarven sandwich, that's for sure. It's not going to be uh, a tasty orc one. And again, I don't think orcs will be tasty. The orcs are the ones saying things are tasty. They eat man flesh. Probably dwarf flesh and elf fe flesh as well. They never say, though. They never say in the film. It's all about man flesh. The pike fight goes on there. And here we go, yeah, the, the rear fight is now taking place over here. Khan and Hunters dying. Yeah, dying and both of these, like I said, getting steamrolled. And the trolls coming in now is just going to be the nail in the coffin, I feel like, surely. Uh, they are kind of winning here. Sons of the Hill actually turned this one around. Wow, 13, well, it's now 12. I'm Sons of the Hill are turning around that fight and helping beat Goldo Glaives. Impressive. Trolls, though, coming in here. They might just be enough to kill those Karnan Hunters off and, uh, and get them off the battlefield. Swiping things aside. Very impressive there, boys. Keep it up. Another good hit. Oh, my gosh. That poor dwarf sent flying into Rosette. There you go, they have won the fight. The Sons of the Hill gave their lives, though, to w help win it for the Cardon Hunters. And we're seeing Pikes pull out of the combat over here. Just come and engage these trolls. I don't think they'll stand. I think they'll get broken in a moment. And the trolls uh, look like they're getting in behind anyway. At least one is. Yeah, big, big problems there uh, for the dwarves. Still looking like they're doing okay over here. The Pikes are starting to die, actually, in that fight with the elves. And, yeah, still a standoff with Dale. So, yeah, it's like almost three different fronts. Elves do most of the primary work over here. Dale in this corner, and then the dwarves down here. I mean, they're not in a corner exactly. They're just in a part of the city, and they're really in charge. Well, they're not in charge. But there they are, the primary race here by the, uh, by the orcs. I feel like the orcs are the ones large and in charge here. They're just going to route the orange crew, and I think that's going to be GG for the dwarves. I mean, that's probably actually put the numbers, yeah, back to exactly about a 1,000 difference there. So, wow. Yeah, I mean... Still going to be tough, but at least you got rid of one of the toughest races. I mean, they still have, like, Dale to get rid of. They've got rid of the dwarves, almost all of them. Thorin's kin are all dead. I'm really, like I said, expecting Thorin just to come racing out of uh, Erebor there. And you'd be like, for the king! And bring in reinforcements. But no, I don't think we'll see that at this rate. The Iron Hills could really do with those reinforcements, Thorin's reinforcements, even if it is just 13 dwarves and a hobbit. I think that's right. I think there's 14 of them. I honestly can't remember. There's 13 or 14 of them. I feel like Bilbo's unlucky 13. But I can't remember. But yeah, Nazgul here. Probably just going to just do some mass routing with his uh, war cry or something like that. I mean, he serves the eye. I think they have a war cry ability, even if he's not bought it um, like himself, like for his general special ability. I think they have their, their own war cry, but we'll see. But it doesn't matter. A simple charge was enough. And now they can hammer and anvil these iron guards and get rid of the uh, the dwarves all, all together, really. Elves have been, uh, well, not silenced. They're having a bit of a quiet period now. And looks like actually it's because Dale has been assaulted. Dale is going to have his time fighting on the front lines here. It's late time. Guard's going to start poking away. They should get some decent kills here in this uh, this fight. Keep 
poking away, men of Lake Town. We've got to save our our people and prove to Bard that we are rightful heirs to Dale. I don't know. I mean, they, that is kind of what they're fighting for, the Lake Town people. They are fighting for, like, sort of citizenship in Dale, which, to be honest, is a ruin. Do you really want to live there? I mean, they're actually fighting a Kamul here. He might be dead, to be honest. I honestly don't know. He's not, and he does die here. This could be a mass route. They're already starting to, qu to quiver and run away. Um, but yes, as you can see over here, uh, these forces, the orcs and the trolls down here, they're now coming through the street. They've just killed off the, uh, the dwarves, and now they are ready to reinforce over here, which is very, very useful because you just are starting around. Gold or Glaive's breaking at 36. That's not too... Uh, unusual, another one there breaking at 37. Merka track is starting to go as well. Yeah, the pole arms just keep up the business. Keep poking away. I wonder if you're thinking I shouldn't have shouldn't have backed the side I did. I mean the dwarves all dead if you backed good. That's not a good sign. But if you backed evil, you could say, well, numbers are getting a little close now. Less than a thousand difference, I think. Let's have a look. Yeah, 1,900. So basically 1,100 against 1,900. Less than a thousand difference. Squeaky bum time if you're an evil player. This is where it, the clutch players come in handy. Can they get those Olog high in there? Can they get a good charge? Mix up, break some of these polearm lines. They can do that and, uh, and break on through with a swarm of orcs behind, well, whatever they have left for orcs. I wouldn't call it a swarm. They've got a chance. They have got a chance. Dorgledor, um, Champions of Dorgledor here. They've got to charge these gate wardens and pole arms. That's uh, not, this is not a fight they really want to take. No one wants to take this fight, really. Uh, but no one has ammo left. This is also the problem. Really, you want archers set up here, shoot into the side of these guys, just weaken them. But uh, yeah, no one saved ammo for the late game because no one thought clearly on Dale that you're going to end up at this last point, which obviously was going to happen. Uh, it's such a great defensible point, just two ways in uh, if you really want to be sweaty. Uh, so yeah, they really should have saved ammo, should the attackers, as should the defenders really, because they knew that they were going to have to probably come back to here and fight trolls at the end. They go again. These like late town guards, I'm telling you guys, they're gonna have racks of kills. Absolutely racked of kills. They just keep throwing in the Yorks, just like like they where well, their lives don't matter. Which is kind of the tr truth. Orc lives don't matter. go trolls coming back in I feel like you're gonna charge the trolls in first almost just so they get that charge bonus oh they're dying pretty quickly here this one's went from from yeah look they're going down quite quickly down from uh, nine to eight quite quickly so they're clearly weak um, and yeah they're getting poked quite quite badly actually by pole arms I, I just don't like that I feel like trolls just aren't very good in a choke point fight sadly they're supposed to be like the the pike and polearm killers, they just seem like they're dying quite a lot when I see them recently in battles. Down to six now. They have dropped quickly. Over on this side, seem like they're having a bit more joy. They're at least combat even. Um, but the late time guards are winning here in their five. Oh, this, go this mod is beautiful. I mean, just a did you could you imagine in Attila that you were ever going to be playing with late town guard defending against Olokai on a Dale map? Probably not. I think he's gonna be able to do it in campaign as well soon. Eventually, these like this battle will matter more. You like you're fighting for your survival if you're like playing Dale, and you're fighting on the ruins of Dale. You probably something's gone wrong in your campaign for this to happen, especially against Dogledore. I don't know how strong Dogledore's gonna be in campaign, but I feel like it's gonna be a regular to be eliminated early on. They've not got the greatest of roster. We'll see though. Late down guard, they are winning this fight. 
Uh, again, shocking tree, you'd expect no less. The trolls really should be smacking their way through that, that pole arm unit, though. I'd expect. And back over here, same old, same old. The elves are just machine gunning down these uh, Zorts, I feel like, at the moment. They just haven't broken through. The numbers also don't seem like they've dropped dramatically for uh, Gate Wardens or Hall Guardians here. The, the line of green and I don't know what like what you call that brown, but green and brown here has not been at all. But the ranks of the black masses of orcs are starting to get thinner and thinner. There's less of them. Piles of bodies would it like be mounting up at this point, like orcs would be climbing over their dead and dying comrades, I swear to get to these elves. They're starting to waver. Yeah, this is all that the Orcs have left over here. I don't think they've got any reserves yet. That is it. They are really pushing on this side, I feel like, to try and break through Dale. Understandable. I would probably be as well. Like, no offense to Dale uh, or even to the Dale player. They're just the weakest point to try and break through. Elves are just super elite. Dale, at least, you know, you might have a better chance. Also, it's a better combo. It's not spears and pole arms. It's just pole arms and swords. So it's a better combo really to try and break through, but it's still making for a tough nut to crack. Yeah, pole arms over here, winning. Yeah, the trolls here, yeah, they're just not they're not doing it at the moment, that's for sure. I'd be sending these uh, marksmen over to the other end. And I mean they're sending good to see they are sending the uh, spear guards. But I don't think they uh, they need anything else over. I think the elves of this they're, they're sorted. Keep poking away. I like the shot. I like this angle. Get a good a good look down on everything. Keep poking away. I mean, they're actually kind of getting around them over here. Look at this. It's all okay. He's kind of around the side of the phalanx at this point. He actually could get the general here for the Revanian regions. I don't think he will. They are slowly getting around the phalanx. It's kind of hurting them. Yeah, look at that. Spears come in. They're shutting down any sort of chance of a breakthrough. We're actually seeing the Nazgul general start to lose here. I mean, against pole arms and spears, I'm not surprised, but he could die pretty quickly here in a moment. It uh, looks like the Ravanian region. I don't know what he's trying to do. Charge in. I mean, it's, it's, well, actually, it's, there is infantry here, but I don't know what he's doing. He's breaking up his own phalanxes down here, which could cause a few issues. We'll see if that does. The swords over here battling on. Kuldor Blades, not doing too great. Oh, Olakaya broken, look at that. The one's over on this side here. Oh dear, they are bringing over another one though. Six out of ten left. Is that the only one that's left? I think it is. I think that is the final Ol Olakaya. I mean, this one might rally, but it's only got one troll left. Uh, but yeah, it's looking it's looking better. That's for sure, like I said, with every Olakaya that gets killed, balance power is going a bit more in favor of the Force of Good. It's literally, there you go, official. The enemy... Uh, Forces of Evil now have less troops. Literally ticked over from 165 and it's now down to 160. Oh, sorry, not 165. 965 and it's down to 950 uh, at this point almost. They've nearly got a 10-man difference. And it's going to keep dropping like that at the moment. The defenders have got a really good positions. They've got good pole arms and they're still fairly healthy. Trolls and archers and pikes for the, uh, the attacks have severely depleted. Uh, depleted. I still love the uh, like the officer for the uh, Dogaldor forces. Like it just like looks like an evil Roman centurion. Almost looks like like Damocles from from like the Rise, uh, like games that they brought out ages ago. Now, yeah, more trolls going in that side. Yeah, it gives me like a Damocles sort of like look, little vibe there. Pole arms here. They're just gonna keep poking away. Poke, poke, poke. It's been a pretty slow end to this battle, I feel like. I feel like at the beginning it was like electric and like pace and what was going on, but has died down a bit as this battle sort of like comes into uh, 
like the phase, like a lot of phases here around Dale. It's still been a fun one. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope you have. Enemy units have been rallied. Yeah, the uh, the pull on. I'm excited to see what these late time guard pull arms like game for kills. They've lost like just under uh, just yeah just under 30 men. And they're still yeah they must have killed off a good few units of Dogledore here. Uh, these problems over here finally are dying, though. This actually could be... I don't know if it will be a breakthrough with the trolls, you know. They sacrificed a lot, but they might actually break through the pole arms there. I think they have just broken like that. And now it's just swords and spears. And they're going to dismount their general. Vining Regents also getting sent in. Oh, but it looks like... Oh, that is huge, actually. The elves have just won on this side over here. And um, they actually have got the Elven King. I don't know if he's, how he's got out or whether he's just... Uh, charged out after these orcs have started retreating. But they have now defeated everything over here, so that's huge. They can now send over the pole arms to support and replace the uh, the breaking uh, late time guards. So there you go, that's a win. And they've actually sent over the fresh late time guard to this side as well. So that other side is definitely the side to try and break through now. I mean, it looks like they're sitting in the Ravanian region general as well to help. But yeah, cracks are starting to open here in these. Uh, Defenders, uh, like, there's chinks in the defender's armor right now. Could there be a last ditch push here? I mean, the trolls can still change the game. Not if they start dying like that one, though. Get up! Get up, son! Gotta keep on fighting. This one's, you know, whacking away. There's three of them left, though. That's not good. Balance power is almost even. We got more Hull Guardians arriving. I'd send them down towards those uh, that fight down there. Not that they really needed, but just, you know, could have a, a pole arm in both choke points. It's law. The fairness, good, uh, like, good on the defenders. They didn't actually retreat to, like, the very, very top. They actually held these other two of the choke points where Dale has been, like, for a little while now. They could have retreated further up. And. Yeah, I mean, I imagine the attacks are still pissed that they just held in and they couldn't break through, but that's their own fault. Like, you've got to try and, like, once you've broken through a little bit of Dale, you've just got to, like, you got to rush. you got to choose ready to rush because if you let them, uh, like, retreat or reset, this is kind of what happens. You kind of get to this scenario. You need to kind of play at fast pace in Dale. Once you're through in a, a choke point, I feel like you've just got to keep on pushing. I say this out of experience, like, I play this map regularly, but that's just why when I've seen it done... You're either going to have ammo left or a decent amount of pike. Uh, to even hope about breaking through that top point where the elves have been for a long, long time. Or you just got to rush so the defenders can't set up. So you catch units out of, uh, out of deployment in the wrong place. So they have very little going into that final choke point. Or choke point. But I mean, at the same time, the defenders can always, and they often do anyway, just leave like a couple of elite units up here. Just... So you'll never catch them out. You just might be able to limit other stuff getting back. Charge from Thrandall into the back line. So this is going to be huge. Helping to route that Olog high. And routing a uh, champion Dougaldor there. There's just Kamul left here alive. That could be... Uh, it could take a little while to kill off. We'll see. Guldor Blades trying to die over here. More Blades going in. Trying to still desperately break through those Hall Guardians and Dane Swords. Which are... Well, they were for a moment dying. But no longer. Um, but yeah, we are going to fast forward now. Balance power is in favor of the defenders. So yeah, they're about 850, well, 856. And the uh, attackers have less than 500 now. So yeah, balance power is starting to shift. I mean, the final trolls was routed, which I was saying was basically the trolls were going to make the difference. Uh, they could kill the pole arms off. I just don't feel like they, they can, they're very good Enemy inside the city. I mean, it's handy if they can battle. kill the Elven King here. I don't think they will, but... They could have killed an Elven King or a, a, a Ravanian Regent earlier, then that would also massively have helped they, the attacker's cause, just with morale. But yeah, a shame, really. Uh, I guess also the city can't be damaged anymore to try and like bring down morale, which also is a tactic that the attackers could have used. Uh, I don't think they had any onagers to do that, but it's a possibility. I guess they just didn't bring any because um, the city was already so damaged, which is fair enough. To be fair. Um, yeah, Elven King right here, he's just cycle charging Kamul. I don't know if he's, Kamul's going to die. He's down to 19, less than that now. 15 men. He is dropping quickly. And there you go, mass route from the Goldor Blades here that have still waiting in reserve. And I think Kamul should die any moment now. 
less than 10 men. He's starting a waiver. He's not looking good. Elvin King should slice his head off and get the job over and done with. And it looks like with about 800 men left, the defenders are going to win this one. So, yes. Congratulations to men, elves, and dwarves. And to anyone who backed them in this battle, it does seem as though you were correct on who was going to win. But yes, it's, uh, it's been a fun one, that's for sure. Kamul, man, just doesn't even give in. Literally down to one guy left. It will be Kamul as well, I bet. Otherwise, he would have routed. Like, that bodyguard is literally impossible to kill. And there we go. Finally, he's dead. And then we have a Perik victory for the dwarves and their allies. So we'll end the replay and have a quick look at the end results. This was sent in by Zach, who was playing as the Iron Hill. So thank you very much, man, for sending this one in. It's very much appreciated. Uh, 138 kills of Dane here. Not too shabby for him before he got shot down. And I think he routed rather than got killed by uh, the, uh, um, by the archers outside. Uh, his Iron Hill Warriors, 170 kills. 343 kills. Oh my, these guys did well. 481 kills with the Sons of the Hill. I feel like we're going to see some huge kills here for the uh, Forces of Good. 274 kills for the Iron Guards. Very nice. Uh, Iron Hill Pikes getting 167, 145. Not too shabby. Khan and Hunters here getting 382 kills. 223, 246. I mean, they all got triple figures. Massive, massive win with those. And then the Orange are getting 214 kills. Not too shabby from the Iron Hills, you know. Very, very nice. And then we have Kenny playing as the Wooden Realm. 114 kills with the Elven King here. 118, 233 with the last Garland Blades. Very, very nice. His Gate Wardens, 373 kills, and they still had healthy numbers as well. Uh, we've got the Hall Guardians, 234 kills, 550 kills basically here. And this one is still healthy. Oh my, that was going to go on and probably get a thousand kills if it had the chance for sure. 164 kills with the Forest Rangers. And then the Lords of Garland getting 268 kills. Very good. Kenny. Then we have YMD playing as Dale. Probably had the roughest of all the fights. Uh, mainly because he's not playing as the Elves or Dwarves. He's playing as Dale. Uh, they're not got superhuman strength and skill. But yeah, it still did well. I mean, his uh, Dale Cavalry Regiment, 550 kills basically there as well. Uh, 162 kills with the Marksman of Dale here. It's the best of the, uh, like the quartet. Then his uh, late down guards, 287 kills, 717 kills. Oh my gosh, insane. Uh, 158 kills with the Dalian Spear Guards. 211 kills with the Violent Guards here. Um, 198 kills, I think is the best of all of his Dalian Swords. But most did reasonably well. Most got triple figures there. It's not too shabby. Then we have President John F. Kennedy, uh, back from the dead, playing as Dol Guldor. 133 kills the champions of Dol They're not too shabby. His infantry kind of struggled. He's got a glaive here with 113 kills. Another one with 95. His trolls getting 83 kills. And we have Barbar playing as another Dol army. 192 kills with his Nazgul general there. Uh, he's got a glaive here with 117 kills. Another one with 254 kills. And another with 138. And then his trolls getting 94 kills. And we have army playing as... Uh, the third Do Dogledor army, 128 kills with Kamul here, 168 with a Glaive, 114 with the champions of Dogledor, uh, and then his trolls getting 73 kills. And we have Mighty Marion, who got the only good kills with his trolls, 198 here. Uh, his pikes getting 133 kills, his champions getting 95 kills. Uh, Kamul got 90 kills, and a Glaive got 85. So he kind of struggled a bit more with the infantry, it seemed. But there you go, guys. That is today's battle. The Battle of the Five Armies is over. And it does seem as though the forces of good have won. But at what a cost a mere 800 souls survive. What a battle. I hope you guys enjoyed. Do remember to leave a like, subscribe, uh, comment, show your support, hit the notification bell, all that shenanigans. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.